you promoted a whole number of these events, yeah. and you as the promoter want to ensure that you have what I'm going to call the best storylines, yes? Because <laughs> you have to have a goodie and a baddie. Now, is the original Craig a goodie or a baddie? Um, I work as a goodie. A goodie? Yeah. So you want the audience really cheering for you, yeah. the young ladies to say, yes, it's the original Craig, <laughs> hooray, hooray, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yes, What's absolutely. the name of one of the baddies in your federation? Uh, we've got several of them. Uh, Wolfgang probably being the biggest one at the moment. What sort of things do you say when you're in the ring? We might shout, come on, Dumfries, or something. Dusty. Come on, Dumfries. Well, there you are. Here's yeah, your opportunity. I'm trying to get you. Uh, this is actually important. Imagine for a second. Just to show that I'm the goody and the baddie. The baddie can say something. All right, I'll be Wolfgang. To... You can be you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wolfgang from? Glasgow. Of course. So you'll have to try the accent, Judge. Craig! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> See my special suplex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, Rogan! <laughs> Come on, Don Fries! Let's take down this big fat Glaswegian! <laughs> now, you tell me what happened on that fateful day. So, basically, I was driving the main road to go and meet with my mum, and the way the road is, it's like a corner that has a junction, like, right in the middle of the corner. Um, and so, as I came round the corner, I just seen brake lights, so I slammed in the brake, um, but then I just didn't brake hard enough or fast enough and I went into the back of someone. Were you injured? No. This is the text message which explains what happened. Got some bad news, sad face. <laughs> this is you. I tell you what, I'll be her, you be you. OK. Got some bad news. Uh, what have you done now? I've kinda crashed the car into the back of someone. <laughs> 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 I can't resist this, madam. Please don't get too mad. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh! <laughs> That's wrecked. Will it be about £200 to tow it as well? <laughs> Georgia, is this a wind-up? No. <laughs> Kieran. Tell me about the nightclub. Have you been to this nightclub before? Don't lie. Yeah. Now, I presume you're also from the same town, 20 miles outside of Edinburgh. Yeah. And it's the right. best... Sorry? Cowdenby. Did you swear at me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm staying at a place called Cowdenby. Cow... Oh, sorry, that's a place. OK. Yeah. There is money that you want to recover for something called an airless sprayer. I don't know what an airless sprayer is, but it sounds like something mildly filthy. <laughs> <laughs> What's an airless sprayer? It's basically an airless system. It's like if you were, if you were to paint interior walls with a spray gun. Oh, or... that would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, you, sort of, you, ha you imagine me standing around my house with some sort of spray can. <laughs> can, actually. I think you'd be quite good at it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's basically got, like, a really long hose, things like that, and it's got a spray gun attachment at the end. So it's airless, so you don't get a lot of... Uh, it, it atomises quick, so... Understood. It dries quick. And, and is it something that is generally used by professional, professional. painters and decorators? Yes? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I can deal with this very quickly. You had one of these things. I did. They're quite expensive. Yes. Roughly, for a new one, or, in fact, the one you had, £232. Uh, 239.92. Oh, forgive me. £239.92. Right. Now, I know that because, again, and this is to your credit, you have provided me with evidence about that. Not everybody comes to court and provides evidence. They're morons. Yeah. So you used to get work from time to time. Yeah. And you needed one of these sprayers. <coughs> That's all. Absolutely. See, I borrowed your uncle's, yep. a, a valuable piece of kit. You took it to the job. Yep. How did the job go? Fine. You got paid for it, no complaints. Yep. Happy days. Then at some point, Uncle Andy wants his sprayer back. 
Did you have a job of some description or did you just want it back? No, I wanted it back because in the springtime, uh, all the fencing I've got, I've got a massive back fence uh, and I've got a front side and I've seen it. Front garden. In fact, really you bought big. a new one eventually. Let's have a look. Oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> there you are. You look very happy with your airless spray thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a good picture. What happened with that? <laughs> it's a great picture, of that, isn't it? I know. I think I had my box or something. Yes, I also know. think you've stumbled onto some rather unfortunate <laughs> lighting. <laughs> So is that you wearing? That's you wearing boxer shorts with a spray. <coughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I think it is my boxer shorts. Well, it is, it is, it's my lycra ones. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you know? Good lord! I feel like I've died and woken up on grinder. <laughs> <laughs> For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.